start with the taco salad. Now we brown a pound and a half of ground beef. We mix one package of taco seasoning. It can be food club, old El Paso, Ortega, whatever you like. And two tablespoons of another package with it. Um, so I've used a couple of different kinds. All taste just about the same. We've got that hot and browned. And then what we do is we take a great big bowl we're going to combine several things, if I can find my big bowl. And I mean big bowl. <laughs> I have a big bowl. It's not going to be everywhere tonight, hopefully. All right, we're going to get our items out. We're going to use lettuce. It says use a head of iceberg lettuce, but I'm going to cheat just a little bit to make things easier. I'm going to use a bag of lettuce shreds. So we're going to take this lettuce, pop it in the bowl. because we want this to be easy. You can go ahead and prepare your uh, hamburger meat earlier in the day. You can mix it with your beans. You can even leave that on in a crock pot. Uh, brownie hamburger put in a crock pot if you want it hot. Or you can just warm it back up in the microwave like I did earlier. I've warmed it with my beans. You can uh, put the beans in cold. Right now I'm taking a bag of tortilla chips. You can do Doritos, tortilla chips, whatever kind of chips you like. Kind of break those up just a little bit. Pour those down in the bowl. Now this does make a lot. This would be great for a potluck. Also, now we're going to add two cans of kidney beans that I have rinsed and I have already added it to my hamburger meat. You don't have to, but like I said, I like my beans to be warmed. We'll add that in just one moment. We're going to add olives, sliced black olives drained. I hope I drained them all, but I didn't quite feel like it. you can leave, leave or add more ingredients as you wish. Olives give things a good flavor, but you always want to drain the extra little bit of juice out. We're going to use a can of green chilies. Two cans, I'm sorry. Two cans of diced green chilies. These are on sale right now for 99 cents and a dollar a can. So you can't beat that. They just add extra flavor. All right, now we're going to add our onion. I took one large onion. It can be any kind of onion. I used white onion today or any kind of sweet onion. One large onion chopped. Now it says you can use a six ounce bag of cheese. I'm using an eight ounce bag of cheese because most of you all know that I love cheese. So, so eight ounce bag of shredded cheddar cheese. You can use sharp or whatever kind you would like. And then, what am I forgetting? I think that's about it. We'll add our beef tomatoes. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to that one in just a moment. I'm gonna go ahead and add my beef mixture in. I'm gonna stir this up really quick. Now, I made one earlier and I put the beans in and stirred it. It did seem to go a little easier, but you always want to drain your kidney beans. Of course, we talked about that what, last week or week before last. We've used a lot of beans recently, haven't we? Beans make dinners go further. Uh, <laughs> they really do. They're very economical. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you don't want to live with the person that's ate the beans the day before, but. All right, and we'll add my hamburger taco mixture. I'm gonna stir this through. Now you all see why I needed the big bowl. You know how that I get everything on the counters. So. All right, this is another super easy taco salad, the kind that I like. All right, now I have already washed and pre-sliced one container of great tomatoes. And I think it says to use two pints. Well, we've done quite a bit here. You can add more or less. We might have needed to add the more. 
because I kind of got a little crazy with the cheese. I, added, I made another one earlier and added lots of tomatoes. But those tomatoes are great, great good. They're good for you, they last a long time. But I do like to slice them in half. If you get tired of slicing them, you can take and put the uh, cherry or grape tomatoes on a saucer. Put another saucer on top of it. Run your knife in between them. You make sure the saucer is curved upward like this one. And you run your knife through them and you'll slice them all in half. Quick and super easy. I'm always looking for something to make things easier. So <laughs> that is one of them. All right, now we're gonna take another bowl. We're going to use salsa and sugar and Thousand Island dressing and the rest of our taco seasoning out of one of our packets. Now we're going to use a cup and a third of salsa. Woo! Get a little crazy with the salsa. I think it would hurt anybody's feelings to add all that in there. Let's get this right over here. And then we are going to add a third a cup of sugar. And you can use Splenda if you'd like. The rest of our taco seasoning packet. And then I have learned earlier today that a cup and a half of Thousand Island dressing is basically the whole bottle of Thousand Island dressing. I learned that by measuring out. Also earlier I was measuring out the apple cider cup, cup by cup and then I happened to look on the container and realized that it told me how many cups was in the container. <laughs> and I was measuring 24 cups. <laughs> so that was another one of those moments. All right. We're just going to whisk that together or stir it. How many of y'all remember the Catalina taco salad we did? That was good. Kind of a different, no taco seasoning mix in it. So I'm excited to taste this one to see what the difference might be. All right. Just gonna toss that together. And this does serve a large quantity of people. This will be great to take to an outing or church festivities and save you enough to eat for later at home. You need to go ahead and serve it immediately if you're going to take it to something like that. My advice would not put the chips or the lettuce in until you got there, and maybe the tomatoes. I would just put all that in a separate bowl, or have the chips in a bag and the tomatoes and lettuce in a bowl, and just mix it all in at one time. And this is our tasty taco salad for a crowd. And that is a large taco salad. <laughs> so this is very much so for a crowd. <laughs> We're going to eat good tonight. Okay. Mm -hmm.